Hey guys, Big John with J Custom Build. So I'm gonna get all the bars and everything set up. I was able to paint the uh, the upper reservoir. It came out okay. Um, it had kind of light and dark spots on it, so I just cleared it yesterday. It's dry. I'm gonna get all this, all the cables and everything in. I'm gonna adjust everything and uh, probably adjust the clutch as well. Change all the fluids today. Get as much done as I can because I'm gonna work on my my brother's uh, lowrider today. He wants me to change all the the uh, I don't know. You guys, some of you guys won't be aware of of what I'm saying, but he's got like slow leaks and he doesn't know if it's his dumps which makes the car go down or if it's uh his check valves um there's ways to check it i think he already checked his switches if you got to shorten your switch it'll cause your car to dump if your check valves are no good or they're leaking or there's debris in them it'll cause it to sink little by little doom, doom, doom. if you have uh, a slow leak in your dumps you know your seals need to be replaced or they need to be rebuilt but he got all brand new stuff so we're going to fix that today his cylinders are leaking we're probably going to swap those out but i wanted to get out here for an hour or so before he came so i could try to get as much done on these bars and get the bars adjusted and, and everything so got all the lighting on the front i'm going to slap the battery in once i get everything i'm going to slap the battery in once i get good save huh i'm going to get the battery in once i get everything connected so that I can check all the lighting and uh, make sure all the lighting works. Everything works. I'm not going to try to start it because I got to change all the fluids. It's got no oil in it right now. So I'm going to just get all this stuff done first and getting it started is my last thing. And then I got to get the rear wheel aligned and torqued as well, as I mentioned before in a previous video, I think. So anyways, um, Let's get going. I'm going to get all my stuff together and uh, get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean all the lines really good and then clean all this stuff. So when I put it together, all the buttons and everything will be all cleaned up. I don't want anything to be dirty. Okay, that's not going to fall there. Get the grip. Okay. Get the grip there. I got all new clutch, clutch bracket, and uh, I tried to replace everything. The only thing I did not, was not able to replace was the, uh, I didn't have to replace the clamshells. They look really, really good. And I did not have to replace the, uh, the housing to the switches. And um, let's get this baby on there really quick. And let's see here. Gonna go like so. That's gonna rest in there. That's... Let me get the screws on there so I don't gotta worry about anything falling. You know, and then I got some, uh, I wanted to get him black. I had some chrome clamps that go around the bars and actually hold this up so we'll uh we'll see how that looks i got new handles i wanted to get them black but i don't know if he wanted to spend you know more money i have some brand new chrome ones that i ordered for another bike and i didn't use them so i got a spare set of uh chrome ones i don't want to tighten these up fully until I get everything on there. So that goes like that. Let's get the shell on there really quick. So this is what I was talking about. I'm gonna see if I could find him some black ones, but I wanna deliver the bike to him this coming week. That this is what I have right now. I don't know if this is actually gonna work. Um, it'll work to hold that, but it's got two holes in it, so. I don't know. We'll see. I think it'll look okay with the chrome and the black. It's got chrome and black all over, so it'll just have 
it'll have accents. And so let's get the shell really quick. Usually the grip sits inside of here, but these grips are different, so. So I just wanna get these screws started on here and get this kind of, cause I don't want anything to fall. And this is gonna go like that. And then there's another screw down here in the front. Get that on there for now. Just tighten it up a little bit. I don't think I can go in deeper with this. Let me see if I could. Nope, I think that's it. Tighten that up. Tighten that up. Tighten the top one up. And then this. I have a small Allen for that. And so I'm just gonna tighten the Allen up real quick. Where's the other bolt at? That one's there. Okay, that locked right there. So we'll just lock it right down right there. It's a small Allen, you know? I wanted to put some actual glue on it as well so that it'll actually stay there even if these Allens were to come loose, because they probably will come loose eventually with the vibration. Okay, so that's on right there. Now I can swing this clutch cable, which is gonna go on the inside right there. I'll throw the rubber boot over it so I don't scratch up any of the, uh, any of the black uh, paint on the highway bar there. Yeah, that's good right there. And then this is gonna come like so. Come on, baby. There it is. So that's how that's gonna go. It's gonna actually go on the inside though, like that. Cable's actually pretty long. Better longer than not, right? All right, let me, uh, let me get the uh, the handle so I can get the handle on there. So what I did was I put a little little grease on this because this is actually what's gonna go in between here, right? This is gonna go like this, and then this is gonna go in here to hold the cable down, right? And you want to get a little bit of lube on that, and then what you want to do is. Be careful getting this actually in here because it has the neutral switch in here, right? And so you wanna be very careful when you actually press that in. Why is that, why is that like that? This might not be the right handle. Let me take it out and see. Yeah, it might be a different handle. Yeah, his is completely different. So this is what I ordered for like 2007. See how it has this cover right here? And this is exactly what his looked like. Kind of the same angle, but his fits like that, where it fits actually inside. So... I'm gonna have to order him some, some different ones. So, I guess I'll just get all this stuff on there and uh, I'll order the grips today, or the levers. I'm gonna try to clean his up, guys, give me a bit. I think I can actually clean them up and make them look a little bit better. Show you the before. Kinda look really dull. See if I can make them look better. Hey guys, Big John with J Custom Build. So it's been a while since I did a video. Um, just had a lot going on, man. And uh, I'm no longer working at Harley. That's a long story. We'll just leave it at that. But I'm back home. I had to take care of some personal things before I got back into the business. And so now I'm back. It's uh, the 28th today. I actually worked on this girl. I got the exhaust back in. The gaskets that I had gotten, the Screaming Eagle gaskets, for whatever reason, didn't want to work on this girl, so I had to get some different gaskets. But I got the exhaust back on here. I got the oil lines back in. I had company today, so I spent the day and a uh, few hours with him, and I didn't actually uh, do any recording. I just kind of wanted to hang out. You know, it's been a while. 
But I got this girl going, man. Got the, uh, I shouldn't say I got it going. I got it further put together along. So the wheels are all done. The brakes are all done. I just got this new brake line in here today. It needs to be dressed up. I think in a previous video I had done, the lights are all done. I got the fall away done. I got the bars on. I got new mirrors. Um, all the lines are kind of all over the place right now because I don't have the the clamp clamps to hold them down. But I got the new grips on there. I got the new mirrors on there. The new bars. Um, I got to get all this stuff tied down. I don't like using tie wraps, so I'm going to use clamps like these guys right here. I could. I got two of these, but these are one inch, and those are inch and a quarter, I believe, or inch and a half. No, these are inch. Those are inch and a halfs. Um, so I got everything in. I was able to get the master cylinder painted. I did the best I could. Grips and everything's in there. Throttle and idle are all complete. I ended up using the old grips because I didn't want to get uh, my brother-in-law cheaper cheaper grips. You know, those things are like $100 a pair at Harley. And those just needed a little bit of cleaning up. But, I mean, everything was good. The clutch cable's in there. Clutch is actually adjusted. Uh, it's a little tight. I got to figure on what's, figure out what's going on with that. But uh, the clutch cable actually feels... It actually feels pretty good. It's got like a quarter of an inch of play or a little bit less. Started getting really tight. I don't know what the deal is. I might have to check it down there. But uh, yeah, she's coming along, man. So everything's done. The brakes are all done. Calipers are all done. Um, there's only two calipers, one in the front, one in the back. So that guy's done. I just got to run all these wires now up, get them plugged in. Um, you can see how everything's black down there and then the chrome and the black headlights and, you know, all the black bars, everything up there is black. I think that looks good. The belt's all tightened up, ready to go. And uh, the wheel is aligned. I'm sorry I didn't record all this stuff. I was coming out here a couple hours here, a couple hours there and just trying to get it wrapped up so my brother-in-law, I could deliver it to him. I wanted to have it to him by the first so. I still got a few things to go. I'm still working on that. But uh, other than that, man, I think the bike looks great. I'm big on dressing up the cables. And uh, when you bring the battery in and check all the lights, everything, make sure everything works good. And uh, I got to get a new air cleaner for it. I was just going to clean that air cleaner down there because I found out it, it is a K&N and it probably just needs to be cleaned up. So we'll go from there. But, uh, hi, honey. Hi. Those are our babies. That's Leo. Hey. And that's Loki. Good. Loki's Daddy. a new addition to the family. Those are our, those are our babies. I don't know what, what Leo's doing here. I think he wants me to throw it. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways. Um, so, that's it. Other than that, you guys have a great evening. And uh, I will try to get a little bit more completed tomorrow. Hey guys, I also wanted to mention, I've still got my giveaway going on with the 2010 Street Glide and the 2009 Ultra Classic. If you guys know anybody that's interested in winning a beautiful bike, all you gotta do is head over to my website, jcustombuilds.com, purchase any item. The details are all on the website. You can learn more about it. And we are now supporting Tunnels to Towers for every item sold. We're sending $15 to Tunnels to Towers. So I am working from home now full time. I'm no longer working at Oakland Harley. So I will be able to download and make more videos. My plan is to get this giveaway going, get both of these bikes given away. So if you know anybody that's interested in winning a Harley, please share this video with anybody you know. And if you're interested in supporting our troops and our disabled veterans, you can buy a hat or a t-shirt and $15 of that money is going to go to Tunnels to Towers to support them. And if you're interested in learning any more about my giveaway or Tunnels to Towers, you can head over to my website and learn more about it there. Other than that, you guys have yourself a great weekend. Always remember to ride safe, take care of everything you do and God bless. Hey.